The sine wave is the simplest sound in existence. In fact, all other sound is simply a combination of multiple sine waves. This idea is known as the Faraday theorem. If we look at the triangle wave, we can see the sine waves that make up the triangle wave. The most prominent sine wave is known as the fundamental frequency. The fundamental frequency is the, the, is the pitch we perceive the sound at. The other frequencies are what produce the color of the sound. The combination of many sine waves with different frequencies, amplitudes, and phases, all of which change over time, is the spectrum or what gives the sound color. When a sine wave is an integer multiple of the fundamental frequency, we call the wave harmonic. In a triangle wave, all frequencies are harmonic. When a sine wave is not an integer multiple of the fundamental frequency, we call the wave inharmonic. Inharmonic frequencies often give sounds unique colors. When many inharmonic waves surround a single area, we call this area a formant. Importantly, we use the formants to understand speech and emotion. We can directly change the individual sine waves within a complex wave. This technique is known as spectral editing.